Let's now review multiplication and division of real numbers. Many of us know that a negative number times a negative number is a positive answer. And a negative times a positive is a negative. I'd like to share with you why that's true. Mathematicians saw this pattern. When they multiplied two integers together, two positive numbers from our world, um, 3 times 2 is equal to a positive 6. And 2 times 2 is a positive 4. And 1 times 2 is a positive 2. And they saw in that pattern that if they reduced the first factor by 1, that their answer decreased by 2 because the other multiple was 2. Down by 2. Down by 2. Decreases by 2. And so when I decrease that first factor again by another value of 1, I discover that my answer should go down by 2. And therefore, in that pattern, I discovered that a negative times a positive is a negative answer. Once I knew that, I could go over here, therefore, and say that since I know a positive times a negative is a negative, and a positive times a negative is a negative, and again, positive times a negative is a negative, and I reduce this initial, this first factor by 1 every time, I see that my answers over here are going up by 2 each time. From a negative 6, I go up by 2 to a negative 4. I go up by 2, and I go up by 2 to 0. So here I go up by 2 when I in, uh, decrease that factor by 1, and I discover that a negative times a negative would therefore indeed be a positive because of this pattern. So let's just write in summary and practice a few problems, including a fraction or two, that we now know that a negative number times a negative number gives us a positive result, and then a negative number times a positive number gives us a negative result. And therefore, for example, a negative 3 times a positive 5, again a negative times a positive, would give me a negative 15. Uh, 8 times a negative 4, um, a positive times a negative, gives me a negative result, and 8 times 4 is 32. Uh, let's take a look at a fraction. A negative 8 thirds times 9 over 4 is a negative times a positive, so that will give me a negative result. And I would go ahead and notice, instead of calling this in the numerator a negative 72 over a positive 12, which I could do and then reduce, I would like to choose to notice that 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 9 three times, and 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 8 twice. I'll put that sign up there so I don't forget it. And I see that my final answer for this problem is a negative 2 times a positive 3, or a negative 6. In the denominator, 1 times 1 is 1, so I would be able to just write the answer as a negative 6. Let's look at a few problems that involve um, a negative times a negative, so let's go with a negative 8 times a negative 2. You might see it written like that. A negative times a negative is just a positive value, and 8 times 2 is 16. You might see this very same problem written like this. A negative 8 times a negative 2 is a positive 16, so just look for various ways for that to be written. Um, a negative 12 times a negative 10. Again, a negative times a negative is a positive. And 12 times 10 is 120. And then finally, would you just notice that if you multiply several values together at once, I'd like you to notice the signs that result. Let's multiply those together. And let's work from left to right. So a negative times a negative is a positive 15. And then again, from left to right, and 15 times a negative 2 is a negative 30. And when I multiply that by a negative 1, I have a negative times a negative is a positive. Getting a little tight there at the bottom. Sorry about that. Would you please notice that you have 1, 2, 3, 4 negative signs in that problem? From now on, I'm going to say that if you have an even number of negative signs, that you're going to get a positive answer for that problem. And you wouldn't have to go through all this work. You could just notice that there's one, two, three, four negative signs. So you could say that's an even number of negative signs. 
Therefore, my answer is positive. And you could just say 3 times 5 is 15, times 2 is 30, times 1 is 30, and just give your answer of a positive 30. In contrast, would you notice that if I had an odd number of negative signs, so a negative 2 times a negative 5 times um, a negative 7, if I work from left to right, a negative times a negative is a positive 10. And then this positive 10 times a negative 7 is a negative 70. I can see that if I have 1, 2, 3, if I have an odd number of negative signs, I will get a negative answer. And so, again, let's just go back and look at the basic, just two factors. We had a negative 2 times a positive 7. That's one negative sign. That's an odd number of negative signs. Should give us a negative answer. And we have said a negative times a positive is a negative. <clears throat> if I have an even number of negative signs, two of them, Two of them here, an even number of negative signs, my answer is positive. We all know that a negative times a negative is a positive. <clears throat> I'm going to pause and then we're going to look at division and compare it to multiplication and see why it follows the same rules.